Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to loom knit a bun cover. Um, you need yarn, 24 peg loom, a pick, scissors, crochet needle, and a pony tail holder. <clears throat> I used acrylic yarn. Um, we're making a slip knot. The woman that I saw make one made one on a 12 peg loom with cotton yarn. It was just not big enough to stretch even around a half pony on my um, hair. So I came up with this. Um, you will e-wrap your 24 peg loom. E-wrap cast on. Real easy. We will go around the loom with our e-wrap cast on. And I don't know what color this is. This was given to me. Um, I just, it's a worsted yarn. That's all I know. <clears throat> Any kind of work. I made rainbow. I've made some with a metallic. I've even used boa yarn. Now we're going our second row of our e wrap. Cast on. Oops. All right, and there we go. We're going to just toss these over, and then we will do five rows of just an e wrap because uh, we're going to cast those over and make a rim. So I'm going to toss these over, and then we will begin our next row, which will be row one of our e wrap, and we will do that for five rows. Um, five rows, it, you know, you can do however many rows you feel comfortable with. It just has to be long enough to brim, you know, do a brim and put your ponytail elastic in. So, and there's our first, our cast on. Push it down. And then we will do a row one. Of an e-wrap and we will do this for um, for five rows so if you will um, we will pause the video and I will let you do your five rows and when I get done I will come back and show you what we will do next there you go okay we have our five rows of um, e-wrap now what we're going to do is put the ponytail holder inside our brim. Here's a basic elastic ponytail holder. Um, I find my little tail, which is right here, because I'm going to tuck it, hide it in as I do this. I'm just going to lay it across like this. And then I will take my ponytail holder and just place it in the loop where the first loop is and I'm going to just put it on the peg just like that and then I will do the next one and put it on oops put it on the peg as well okay and then the next one and just place them on the peg as I go around you will notice that your rubber band will start to get in your way. And I'll just grab it, stretch it across, and attach it to any peg. Doesn't matter. Let's move it a little closer. And then I continue grabbing my loops and placing my loops over the pegs like this. <coughs> And then as I get close to the rubber band, I just move it over and continue pulling the, oh, that loop doesn't want to come up. Pulling these loops and putting them over the pegs, I'm going to move the rubber band again. I just move it out of my way every time I, when I get close to it, I just go on and move it. Just keep going. And place it over here. I'm going to just... I said continue to pull your cast on loops over your 
your pegs just like you were making a hat. <clears throat> Last two pegs, I'll just toss that off, grab my loops, and there we go. They're on, all on there now. Nice and tight. And we will toss these pegs over. There's your ponytail holder inside. And we will just toss the pegs right over, the loops right over the pegs, just like if we were brimming a hat. Nothing fancy about it. And that's it. That's how I get the ponytail holder into the, the loom. Um, it's easiest for me. If you find an easier way, please feel free to do it that way. Um, but like I said, that's how I do it. I'm going to toss these over. Don't know what that was. Just as if we're brimming our hat. Oops. And it's fairly easy to work with. It's not tight. We're almost done. At this point, you can do any stitch that you like. Me, I'm going to do the figure eight stitch for five rows. <coughs> I will show you the figure eight stitch if you're not familiar with it, which I also learned off of a YouTube video. I will, this is peg 24, peg one and two. You will, your tail's coming off of peg 24, your working yarn. You'll skip one, wrap, e-wrap number two, and then behind number one, wrap it. This yarn will go in between the two pegs, one and two, toss over, and then you're going to do it again. You're going to skip two, go to three, wrap three, then wrap two, and then toss them over. Then you will skip three and wrap four, then go back to three. Bring it down between the two, toss them over. We will do this stitch for five rows. Figure eight stitch, um, you can do the E-wrap. I think it also takes five rows. I've done the tiny heart stitch. That one takes about eight rows. It's a little bit more of a tight little stitch. So you would do eight rows with it. But we're just going to continue around, skipping one peg, wrapping, coming back to the peg we skipped. Do not, uh, the working peg is the one that make, helps you to determine um, where you will go, which one to skip. So see the working yarn is coming off of that peg, so now I will skip the one beside it, go to the next one, wrap it bring it back, wrap the one I skipped, toss it over. <clears throat> Show you again. Make the figure eight. Toss it over. And then again. Toss them over. They're at the I'm going to show you the whole row because at the end you just keep going. It's not and you don't do anything special, but I know sometimes Skip this one, wrap, toss over. If you don't want to do the figure eight stitch, by all means, do what is comfortable for you. I just like how this one looks on the bun. And uh, there we go. And toss it over. it over. And we're just going to keep going. Five rows. We're going to do five rows of this stitch. And then when we're done, we will bind off. And it will be just a basic hat bind off. Anybody who feels comfortable enough to stop the video and continue on and finish up without my help, that's wonderful. Go right ahead. Five rows and then a bind off. Uh, let's see, here we go. We're almost to the end of this row. Just keep right on to you get to your last peg and then you just start over again. Here we go. And 
you just continue this one you'll skip the last peg go to the first peg number one see and then your working tail will be off of peg 24 that is one row completed peg 24 working yarn and continue around for four more rows and I will come back and show you the bind off um, here's one I did yesterday the figure eight stitch just have bind off just regular bind off so anyway I'll show you how to do that in a minute okay we have finished our five rows of figure eight stitches and now we are going to buy it off. I just take a piece of yarn. I don't really measure, wrap around the spool or any of that because I, I don't like to do all that. Cut it off. <clears throat> I take my pick. I go under the strand and bring this one up through there. And I just, from the top, go under, pull up. And then I just do that all the way around. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. See. I'm just pulling it through. I don't. I'm not using my needle or any of that. I'm just I'm not cutting it. a separate piece of yarn. I'm using the same yarn that I started the hat with. I'm gonna. I mean the bun cover with. I'm gonna finish it with that. With that piece of yarn. I'm just going to see if I'm going from the top, pulling that up, pulling the tail through, and I just from the top, and through. Kind of weird. I'm, I'm left-handed, <laughs> but uh, I've taught myself to do a lot of things right-handed. So, I could not set the camera up on the right hand side though. I tried yesterday. It was not happening. I was not comfortable. I could not, couldn't do it. And just, just all the way around. We're just going to stick our pick and pull it. Stick it in there from the top of the loop. Pull the yarn, working yarn under. Real easy we're almost to the end last peg now then we're gonna toss them all off toss them off you do a hat then we're gonna grab our yarn and we're gonna pull it to the inside and flip it over and then we'll just pull the top closed I take a crochet hook I just grab it through a couple I take a couple of loops just it around pull it through make sure I'm tight the way I want the bun cover to be and then I just tie it Two or three knots, cut it, and voila. Oh, there's the tail sticking out from the brim. And there is a bun cover. Um, I've made, let's stick it on this and I'll show you what it looks like. And there you go. There's your bun cover. You can do more rows if it's not big enough. I've made uh, some with metallic yarn. This is also a figure eight stitch. This is the first one I made. This is the tiny heart stitch. My uh, boa yarn. I used a brown thread as well. This was also five rows, but it was quite a bit bigger. And this one I made yesterday. And that is how you make a bun cover 
with your elastic inside the thing. And I'm sure you could do a different style stitch for the brim if you don't want the E-wrap look. That's just what I've done. Anyway, there you go. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. You have a nice day.